Hello friends, I am Professor Sunil Kumar Vishwakarma. Today we are going to learn how to draw a human brain. First of all, those who have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. Thanks for liking my last video. This is what you see is a complete human brain. And this looks a little bit complicated. But what we are going to do, we are going to follow simple simple steps. So that we can learn it, how to draw in the exam within short span of time. So let's start with the session have you seen a bird first of all so whenever you see a bird a bird has a beak so let's take this to be the beak of the bird now draw the stomach of the bird this is the stomach now take a straight line and this is the entire bird right in the beak of the bird put one small seed that we see something like this we write W, right? We write W in this way. Let's try to write W in a different fashion, somewhat like this. So when you write it like this, the structure now, since it is W, let's make it double, right? In the center, put one small stick and one small seed-like structure. Now, we all know how to write S. Now when we write S, we write it in this way. Let's make it a little bit more stylish, somewhat like this. Draw half S. Now when you draw half S, the structure becomes somewhat like this. Make it a little bit thick so that it will appear like corpus callosum. Now we need to need V. Now when you talk V, it is somewhat like this. Let's write in this way, a small, you know, horizontal kind of V. We start from here, we bring it here, we go for a straight line, then draw leaf. Leaf we all have seen somewhere. So let's take this to be the leaf and the leaf makes some curls. This part which we are drawing is actually cerebellum of the brain. In the center draw some veins like structure that we observe in leaf. Make this part as double. Draw some circles and one small circle in the center. Try to cover it with this. Now the problem the student face how to go for the turn. So what do you need to do? This portion a little bit here. So we put it in this way. Take a look. Now this is how you can draw. Now when you go for this way, just make small folds so that things will be easy for you to understand. Now, this is somewhat simplest what we can draw. Now, we need to understand, we have all drawn flying birds. So, let's take this to be the flying birds. Something like this, like this. And this is what we are going to use to make the fold that we normally see in the brain. Now, as far as the labeling is concerned, we need to label each and every part of the brain. So let's try and understand. Now this is what is brain all about. So whenever we do the labeling, this is the largest portion of the brain. So we call it as cerebrum. This is the cerebellum, second largest part of the brain. It is basically meant for maintaining equilibrium and coordination. This part that we see is called as pons veruli. Now pons veruli is basically for reflex action of breathing this lowermost portion that we see is medulla oblongata one of the most important part of the brain because a sudden injury to medulla oblongata can even lead to death the part which has extended here like this it is called as spinal cord so basically extension of medulla oblongata is the spinal cord this part what you have made the S1 it is basically called as corpus callosum it is that part, a thick band of nerve, which is going to join the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere together. This, what you have drawn is pituitary gland, one of the master gland. Now when you go for various lobes of the brain, so this is FL, frontal lobe, the one facing the sun is PL, parietal lobe, the one here behind is OL, 
occipital lobe and the one here at this side is called as TL temporal lobe. So this is how you can draw brain in a simplified form. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.